Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally doing my review along with a few looks from the new ABH Riviera palette. So I purchased this palette a couple of weeks ago, actually within a Sephora store, which if you saw my last, like, uh, why I left Sephora video, you'll know why I'm a bit, uh, what's the word, uh, anxious? To go into a store by myself but the store that I used to work at is within walking distance of my job so the day this was released in store I took my lunch break and I ran over and I just I ran in got the palette ran out because <laughs> uh, I really wanted this and I thought that was the quickest way to get it because this palette it's gorgeous it is gorgeous. This palette retails for $45 on the Sephora website. I paid $45 plus, you know, tax within the actual store. I don't know what's going on with Rouge shipping. Uh, I think there's been some changes to the tiers within Sephora. I know you no longer get flash two-day shipping with Rouge like you used to. I think you have to pay extra for that. So, I mean... If you're Rouge, you do get free shipping. I honestly don't know what the situation is outside of that because it has a chance for Rouge as well. I did notice that they're slowly like creeping up the price of their palettes because the subculture and the like modern renaissance, they were all hovering between like 40 and 43 and now this one's 45. So I see what they're doing. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if soon we would be seeing 50, $52 palettes from ABH. I did three looks with this palette, including this gorgeous pink look today. I've got a lot of requests to do a look with the pink look, with the pink shades in this palette, and I did incorporate all three of the major ones, so right here, those three. I used the shade Monte Carlo, Bahamas, and the shade, oh, I'm gonna butcher this, Palermo, I believe, on my lids today, and it's gorgeous. I paired it with one of the new Fenty lipsticks in the hot pink shade, and I'm a for the pink. As with most ABH shades, the <laughs> swatches are gorgeous. So I'll just do an overlay right here of the swatches on my arm. I honestly think each shade is gorgeous and it, it works. It works. I'm honestly surprised it took this long for ABH to come out with a colorful palette. Let's go ahead and jump into the three looks I created with this palette before I give you my final thoughts.
So those are the three looks I created with this palette. I was very happy with all of them. I will say I wore the first two looks to work. This one I am working from home and I'm probably gonna have to take this off because pink eyeshadow is a bit much for work, but I really do enjoy this palette. I only have one gripe with it. So ignore the fact that I dug my nail right into the shade Estate. I'm so sad that I did that. I went to pick the palette up and it just went, oh, it hurt. And I had eyeshadow under my nail for like an hour. I was trying to get it out. Anyway. I like the fact that they arranged this with all of the shimmers on top and all of the mattes on the bottom, with one exception, and that's this pure white shade. I actually saw the pictures and thought this was a shimmer shade, and I was actually really excited for that shade. This is Sales. I thought this was a shimmer white shade, which would have been awesome for like inner corner highlighting, highlighting. You can even use it as a highlighter if your skin tone is light enough. But it's not it's actually a matte shade so they have one matte shade and the rest in this row are shimmers and then the rest in the bottom are matte i really wanted this to be a shimmer because i do have some matte white shades i've got you know matte white powders i just i really wanted this to be a shimmer so i could use it as a highlight uh, in almost every one of my looks, I was using this as an inner corner highlight, and while it looked decent, I think it would have looked gorgeous if it was a shimmer. And it also would have looked great on the lid. A beautiful white shimmer with all of these colors. So I think it was put in here to be used like as a base for other colors, but I, I really wanted that to be like a stark white shimmer. And I didn't see that. So that's my one disappointment with this palette. Other than that shade, I love everything else about this palette. This is gorgeous. Is it worth the 45? Personally, right now, knowing that I don't have anything with this exact kind of configuration in my collection, yes. If a brand were to come out with a good dupe of this, would I buy the dupe or would I buy this? I'd probably buy the dupe. 45 is getting a bit steep. Uh, like I said before, I don't know how far ABH is going to take their price increases. So we'll see how their future palettes come about, but I adore this palette. I love the packaging. This The packaging is getting a hell of a lot better. I will say that. I hated their like felt packaging. <laughs> it's gross. It gets dusty. It gets dirty. This is gorgeous. It's... It reminds me of like jeans, it reminds me of summer. It's it's the perfect summer palette. With the exception of that white shade because I wanted it to be a shimmer. So if you were on the fence about this, I would say pick this palette up. It's really nice. As far as I'm aware, this is going to be a permanent item in their collection. So don't rush out and buy it. You know, go to the store, swatch a few colors, see if you're really into it and then purchase it later on if you want to. This is also available now at Ulta. So if you've got Ulta points, you know, go in there, use your coupons, you know. Ulta is a lot better for coupons and for saving money than Sephora. We all know how shitty Sephora's reward point system is. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you want to see any more videos with the Riviera palette or with more ABH palettes in general. I have basically every palette in their permanent line. So if you guys want to see like a ranking video, comparison video, anything like that, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.